all right guys so just go ahead and get everybody on game now here comes the fun part you want to know how to cut um and i'm gonna show you something else that i should have showed you in the last video as well matter of fact i'm gonna show you that first once you get done sizing these wheels remember to do this go here go to uh reset the parent x and y offset make sure pivot is still not selected and you're going to click on the wheel what's going to happen you should have saw it hold on let me see if i can make some of this shit disappear reset the parent x and y offset yeah yeah it did it okay so when you do it then you're gonna come back you're gonna hit this center local axes come click on this little button again oops little triangle right here okay it's, it's really not doing it with me guys hold on there you go little x up here and hit center local uh keep object and you're going to come back down to the wheel and you're going to see the line is moving how you know if you did it right cut a line to be right back where it was from the jump it'll move over here when you click it the first time then it'll come right back here when you click it the second time all right once you do all that now you turn off everything you need to turn off except the body of the car so we're gonna just hide all we're gonna turn body shell on we're gonna turn on front bumper back bumper um and we might have to turn on the back doors as well because the back doors are going to get cut just a little bit not much and you're going to turn on the wheels and the reason why you're turning on the wheels guys is because you're going to use that as a guide your wheels is going to be your guide now what you need to do is go up to select and hit single you need to click this, click your body, click your front bumper, click your back bumper. Matter of fact, so I can get both of them, there we go. Click your front and back bumper, boom. And you're just gonna go ahead and click on polygon up here to the top, click on the car. You're gonna have a bunch of dots like this. Now you're gonna zoom in in your 3D window so you can get a good look at it. And gonna go to vertex. Then you're gonna go to modify, move. Now there's several ways you can grab. You see how this car? I can curve this right around. Use your little co uh, collision, which is this green box. I mean this green circle that's around the wheel. Use that as your trace lines. Think about it as if you was in middle school and you tracing somebody's photo that you know damn well your ass ain't draw use that <clears throat> what you're gonna do is you're gonna go on up here and me personally sometimes I use circle but I'm gonna be honest with you sometimes when you use circle on certain cars it might not work so it's best to use the square but I'm gonna use circle just because but I'm telling y'all now from what I know use what you can but make sure if you do use this make sure it doesn't select anywhere because sometimes when you select with circle it'll select all around here all around the damn woodworks and all that stuff this that and the third whatever the case might be <clears throat> so what you need to do is you need to just say fuck all that <laughs> And then just start moving it down personally this is what I do I know a lot of y'all are paid and if you want to grab more than that if you think you can grab more and then you just mold it the way it needs to be molded when the time comes boom see it ain't that hard man 
You know, a lot of y'all been watching me for the longest. And this has been something that y'all been wanting to do. And because of my busy schedule, it's been a little hard. So, there's a lot of things I do. I will start uh, giving models as well. So people can, so you can have your own model to work on. Now, let's see, now this is where it's going to start getting stupid, right? Because certain ones are only, some, some of these lines sometimes are only meant to go straight. So, boom, right? Come on, get to the next line. Boom, slide it just a little bit. Come on to the next line. Slide it just a little bit. See, I'm following this line. And you see this line still ain't moving. Let me come out here and fix this just a little bit. There you go. Now, like I said, guys, y'all see me. I'm up here kind of gapping up the car a little bit. But that's why I'm just taking, I'm trying to take my time a little bit. But I'm trying to get these videos put out for y'all as well. Try to make sure you make it look better than mine, okay? <laughs> no mercy is an egg, no egg cut game. You learn from me. We try not to do egg cuts. But because of the sake and time that's being put into this video... Actually, I'm going to go ahead and grab all of this. We're just going to go ahead and shift it right there. Now stop. And you see that big hump on this right screen because of the fact that I'm up here actually moving things down just by a little here and there, a little here and there. Sometimes somebody, I should have did a box Chevy instead. A box Chevy is normally everybody's go-to. Between that and the 72. Now, normally when you start seeing that you're crossing over lines, you don't want to do that. So try to bend them back in the shape, see. Now, this is not the best cut, period, because it's a little wavy right here. But it could have been better. I haven't did a cut on a bubble in a long time, so...
Fucking kidding me, dude. Sometimes, guys, I swear. Could these damn cars will fuck your mind up. I'm trying to just so y'all can kind of see how this shit goes. So I'm trying to like fuck with it, but not fuck it up. Cause that'd be that'd be fucked up if the teacher fucking up shit, right? See, and the teacher just fucked up. See, boom, there we go. And bring you back. Yep, there we go. Take you back. Okay, boom. Yes, Lord Jesus. And just to make it, I don't know what the hell this is. But we're just going to pull that back just in case if it's anything crazy. What right about that? There we go. So I'm hoping y'all are getting the drift for how to cut. I'm telling y'all how to do it using the squares. Like I said, some people don't use the squares. Some people use other methods. You don't have to do it my way. Whatever way works for you is how you go about it. Yeah, that cut is starting to look now, even though it's a little, eh. I think right here. Yep, there we go. Boom. See, guys, all you got to do is just know exactly what you're trying to do. Once you learn how to cut, I'm trying to tell you, because everybody wants to know how to do air all this, blah, 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 this and the third. Nobody wants to know how to cut first, and they don't understand how far learning how to cut will take you. <laughs> if you learn how to cut first, I promise to you, putting in sunroofs, stuff like that, all that, like all that crazy ass customization stuff that you want to know, really know how to do, it'll be so easy. If you know how to cut. Now, if you don't know how to cut, then you're going to be like, well, how do I put a hole in the roof? If you know how to cut, you'll know how to put a hole in the roof. You know what I'm saying? Cutting plays a big part. Because how I'm stretching these 
these little poly, these little red dots right here are called polygons. How I'm stretching these holes is how you will go about learning how to cut. A lot of people don't believe that. You're like, man, no, nah, it ain't, bro. That ain't what you supposed to do and all that. But it's, but you're looking at my work and being like, damn, smack, that's fire. I want to start making cars like you. I hear that on a daily. I'll never get big headed. Nothing like that. See, we're almost done. Let's see here. I hate, oh my God, I hate when I do that. Now. And then boom, now you got your front cut. And all you have to do is go back and do your back. You see where the tire lines go? You're gonna have to cut into the door. You're gonna have to slide all this over. This should, you know, a little bit of practice. You do it until you get it right, you know? So guys, check out the next video.